energy is ubiquitous in our lives. We use it to heat and light up our homes, to power the various appliances and gadgets that we have, to get places, it is used to produce everything we buy. But all this comes at a huge cost to the environment and subsequently our own well-being. What exactly the problem is and how to reduce it is what this video is about. Let's do this. One of the biggest issues with energy is air pollution. And air pollution is very harmful to human health. It is estimated that air pollution is responsible for 5 million premature deaths globally every year, which is almost one in every 10 premature deaths. There are five major pollutants that are responsible for these deaths, and energy is the single biggest source of each of them. It accounts for 85% of particulate matter emissions worldwide, 92% of carbon monoxide emissions, and almost all of the sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides emissions. It also contributes to 66% of volatile organic compounds emissions, which react with nitrogen oxides and form ground-level ozone, the fifth major pollutant. The second issue with energy is that it's a major contributor to climate change. Energy is responsible for three quarters of global greenhouse gas emissions. If you're worried about climate change, energy is the main villain. And the third issue with energy is water pollution. A lot of toxic waste is dumped into water bodies during energy production. For example, in the US, power plants alone are responsible for 30% of all toxic waste released into surface waters. There are also other issues with energy that are not as easily quantifiable, but are still very important. For example, production of energy causes land disturbance, loss of biodiversity, and it generates a lot of solid waste. So now that you're convinced that energy causes a lot of troubles for our planet, what can we do about it? Well, the first thing we can do is to switch to renewable energy sources, such as solar, wind or hydro. Most of the negative effects that I've just talked about are associated with burning fossil fuels. And at the moment, 85% of world's energy comes from fossil fuels. What you can personally do to help is to switch to a renewable electricity provider for your home, if one is available in your area. Another option is to install solar panels, but that of course requires a bit more of an effort to do that. The second thing you can do is to use less energy. About 13% of all energy consumption in the world is for residential uses, such as heating our homes, cooking, lighting, and using appliances. Another 26% is used for transportation. We can help in both of these areas by using less energy at home and while traveling, and by using it more efficiently. And I will be talking about the ways of doing that in my future videos. The rest of the world's energy is used to produce and sell things. And we can affect these indirectly by buying less stuff, choosing products that use less energy to produce, and choosing companies that use renewable energy sources for their operations. Now, all this might be a bit overwhelming, especially for beginner econinjas. But in my opinion, every bit counts. And even if you can do just one little improvement today, it is still better than doing nothing. And it's even better and more fun to do it together. So subscribe to my channel to join the Eco Ninja community, like this video to help others find it, and share it with your friends. Until next time, bye!